She quit. She quit? Yeah, she quit. You're kidding. <laughs> no. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. I mean, it, it, it's, it's fantastic. I mean, it's amazing. Yeah. I mean, that the day that I call and complain about her on the phone, that that's the day she chooses to quit? Yes. It is. I mean, that is an amazing coincidence. Yeah, that is exactly what it is. It is an amazing coincidence. Oh, unbelievable. So, so what happened to him? What happened? Well, uh, you know, um, I told her uh, very politely, you know, as, as nicely as I could. Oh, you, oh, you, you told her? Yeah. Um, that, you know, uh, when my friends called, it would be better if she didn't, you know, tend to talk so much to them. Well, what? When did you tell her this? When? Uh, later, after we spoke. How much later? <laughs> Not much. How much? Right after we hung up. Oh, so did you, right after we get off the phone, then you go and tell her that? Well, of course she knows it was me who complained. Now I'm responsible for this woman quitting. Oh, this is unbelievable. I know. <laughs> I screwed up. It's all my fault. Would you call her? Call her? You want me to call her? Yeah, please, please, would you call her? Oh, I'll dial the number. <laughs> How could you do this? I was just trying to help you. Oh, no, trying to help me. <laughs> Hello, Sandra? Hi, uh, this is Jerry Seinfeld. Listen, I, I just want to tell you, there's been a terrible misunderstanding. <laughs> See, I, I told Elaine that uh, it was a real treat talking to you on the phone. And she thought I was being sarcastic, you know, because I'm a comedian and all. She thought, I think, yeah, it's a real treat talking to her on the phone. <laughs> yeah, but I was really being sincere. I, no, of course I like you. Tonight? <laughs> um, uh, hold, hold on a second. Now she wants to have a drink with me. Just go, go, oh, go, just... have a drink. Please, go, go. Yeah, I think I can. <laughs> um, yeah, I know where that is. Um, okay, uh, I'll see you there. Okay, bye. Now I gotta have a drink with her. See, do you see what you've done? Yes. Now I gotta talk more to her. I don't get enough of her blabber on the phone. No, but this is a good thing that you're doing, though. How am I gonna recognize? I don't even know what she looks like. Oh, she's really attractive. <laughs> Oh, hi, uh, Mr. Ross. Oh, Daddy, this is Jerry. Hi. Uh, once again, Mr. Ross, I'm, I'm really sorry about what happened to the cabin, but don't you worry. You can always build another one. No, I won't. No, but... you won't. No, you like that one. Why would you build another one? A lot of work to build a cabin from the ground up. Yes, and it's so expensive. Well, you got all the wood. Absolutely. But, yeah. you know, you could always sell the property. I'm not selling. No, that would be silly. It's better to hold on to that. The value goes up. Real estate. There's a good investment. Henry. You want a sandwich? No. no. Well, we really should yeah, be running. Well, I think yeah. Yeah, we got a schedule, so this was fun, and uh, <laughs> we'll see. Oh, excuse me. Hello, Raymond. Uh, yes, the man from the insurance company dropped this off this morning. He said it was the only thing left from the remains of the fire. Well, I'm looking forward to meeting him. I haven't told him anything about you. Why not? <laughs> what am I going to say? <laughs> well, you could tell him how cool I am. How since me, it's been pretty much all downhill for you. Yeah, if you call that dung heap, you're standing on a hill. Snappy patter. I like that. <sighs> Give me that. <clears throat> I got to go. Where are you going? What's the rush? I'm going to surprise Joey. I've never been to his apartment, so I'm just going to pop in. Oh, good. Men love that. They do when I do it. Hey. Hey, Jen. You got a message, buddy. Ooh, could be from that blonde. Oh, you get it, get it, You know, you split your pants. Oh, man. Look at this. Oh, that's great. Now I gotta walk around like this? Oh, brother. All right, uh, what, did, what would he say? 275, right? 250. 250? Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. All right, all right, 250. George! Susan? <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm so glad I caught you. Uh, what, what, 
you doing here? I thought you were going to the airport. There was some problem with the plane. They landed in Philadelphia. Well, so, so what's what's that? They can't take another plane? I mean, she couldn't take a bus? Well, she's coming in tomorrow, but I made it. Yeah, yeah you made it. How about that? Oh, oh, I'm so excited. Now we get to see the opera together. <sighs> we get to go to the opera together. <laughs> That is Harry Fong. He's a good friend of mine. He's a big opera buff. Enjoy the show, Harry. <laughs> All right. Listen, you know, you know what? I, I don't think I'm gonna go. Here's your ticket. You go. Why aren't you coming? I gotta tell you, I'm very uncomfortable here. Look at me. I'm all cinched in. I split the pants here. I feel oh. ridiculous. You go. Have a good time. No, no, it's okay. No, listen to me. It is no, fine. No, you'll go to the coffee shop. I'll meet you there later, and then you'll, you'll tell me all about it. <laughs> tell me how much fun you had. It's gonna be fun. Oh, It'll be more fun for me this way. I'll get to hear the damn thing in English. <laughs> Oh, Harry! Harry! So she gets another job. Another job? Couple of interviews. Oh, this is unbelievable. I'm stuck. Every time I think I'm out, they pull me back in. Hey, come on, man. Hold it down. I'm trying to do this. All right, that's it. That's yeah, but, enough. No, Jerry, I can't hear what they're saying. Well, I can't. It. What are you doing? Oh, you're giving me the TV. Jerry, I don't want the TV. I don't want the TV, Jerry. Are you going to give me the VCR, too? <laughs> Nothing, nothing. <laughs> What's new with you? I just started teaching an aerobics class at Manhattan Plaza. You should come and take a class. Oh, oh well, maybe. Well, it was nice running into you. Yeah, well, uh, it's good to see you, too. OK, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Should I have asked her to sit down? Yes, it was awkward. <laughs> Yeah, but we're not really friends, and then we wouldn't have been able to talk. Look at her, sitting at the counter over there all by herself, thinking, what's what's the matter with me? Why can't anybody sit next to me? You know, I'm, I don't understand you. I'm surprised. Oh. Hey, what's the matter? My mother caught me. What happened? Where's your neighbor? He got me food? Yeah, I brought you a sandwich. Oh, you're such a sweet boy. What happened to her? Oh, uh, they moved her next door. Next door? Yeah, I complained because she walks around here half naked all the time. You what? Look, who needs to see that? Huh? They didn't give you a pickle? No, no, there, I have to give you a pickle. That's not right, Ma. I'm gonna get you a pickle. I'll be right back. Pickle! What? What are you doing? 